Hello my Leos, this is Deborah, and we're into August 2020. So great to be with you, thank you for being here, thank you for um, all your help and support on the channel. <laughs> much appreciated, thank you so much for helping others. So Leo, beautiful energies coming through for you in meditation. Um, what did I see, what did I see, Michael's reminded me, four leaf clovers, okay. Um, four leaf clovers. Michael's also been showing me an olive tree. Now, an olive tree goes back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, okay? Roots go deep and it's a very spiritual um, tree. So this could be you delving into your deep spirituality for the month of August, leaning on your intuition, but Michael's also been showing me the card of um, the Wheel of Fortune. So there's going to be a very fortunate event Michael's crossing that out in my mind and saying meeting, a fortunate meeting in the month of August, which you could feel is going to be moving you onto a deeper spiritual level, okay? Um, or this could be someone that you feel a very strong connection with romantically, okay? So that is what I have, Leo. I think what we'll do is just delve into this and see where this reading takes us, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so if you are ready, let's move into this. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. This is going to be the reading for my Leos. This is for August 2020. August 2020. Michael's telling me that you, you need to just keep your feet on terra firma. You need to keep grounded. Now, whether or not that means heading outside to um, the side of a lake, um, beach, a forest, getting your feet on the grass in your garden, okay? You need to just find some little patch that is connected to the earth to keep yourself grounded. The Three of Pentacles has just flown out, flipped over. Um, you will be building. You will be building, keeping your feet on the ground, working in partnership, okay? Some of you are starting your own businesses. Some of you are growing your own businesses. Some of you are going to be meeting someone um, who is very much on your spiritual path and you are going to be moving forward into a beautiful new partnership. Yeah, okay. Um, Michael's channeling through. The number 41 has come through. Now that's interesting because four is the number of the Ascended Masters. One is about a new cycle, but four and one together is a challenge. So take that as it resonates. Take that as it resonates, okay? I feel as if someone's going to be making a decision. Do I look at this card, Michael? He's saying, yes, we look at this card. King of Swords. Okay. So you may be concentrating on business, legalities, job change, whatever this is in August. You could be romantically connected with this King of Swords. This is someone who hasn't come out as a, a knight, he's come out as a king, so he has learned life's lessons, he is matured, he is grounded, he speaks the truth. He always comes up with solutions to problems and issues. This is someone that you could be working in partnership with, who's an Aquarius Libra Gemini, and you're going to be coming up with a way of working in partnership. Okay? Cards are ready, Michael? Yes. Okay. Interesting card. Cards are really flying. Okay. They want to be heard. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Um, Leo, you put up with a lot of crap in the past, guys. Yeah. A lot of BS, a lot of lies, a lot of deceit, and you use your sword to cut out someone or a situation from the past that you felt was dragging you down, giving you anxiety, toxic energy, okay? And you are now moving forward with a great deal of speed, wow, a great deal of speed. Look at all these pentacles, guys. Now, for some of you, this is this is career. You're going to be really expanding your business, your businesses, I should say. Plural, not singular. And you will be looking to 
the future. Very strong empirical energy. And you're going to be thinking about accepting an offer. Now, this could be a job change. Hoping for success in your career. Or this could be to do with being offered the chance of moving forward into a romantic relationship. But this is you, Leo, not rushing. Michael's saying it's very important you don't rush this decision. And you need to keep very grounded at this time. Very important. You need to think very clearly. And Michael is saying to me, are you both on the same page? Are you both on the same page? Do you want the same things? Yeah, secrets coming out, Leo. I feel that someone here has been keeping a secret pertaining to wanting to offer you something really stable. Yeah, I do feel this is love. Wow. Under the deck, High Priestess in Reverse, coming out of fantasy land, seeing the reality of a situation. But this is also maybe someone that you have been thinking about. Okay, not saying anything, using your intuition. This could be somebody you feel a deep spiritual connection with. In the reverse, the High Priestess in Reverse is you taking off that blindfold, getting real with yourself. But also, this is potentially clarity on a situation where things might have been foggy for you. King of Pentacles, under that. Some are very strong, grounded, stable, somebody who wants a commitment, potentially. Or this is you taking on that energy of the King of Pentacles and forging ahead in a business that you are in or the business that you want to develop. Really exciting energy. That is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Interesting. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, money is improving, or you are coming back together with someone that you felt very distant from before. There could be, Ace of Cups, a new offer of love. But what is really nice here, Leo, to see is that there's a lot of grounding energy here, a lot of Pentacle cards. Now, this could just be you connecting to your own stability working hard. This could be someone who is ready to offer you commitment. This could just be you connecting with an earth sign. Okay, Leo? But it's very good. Very good. Okay, guys. So, are you ready? Let's move the camera a fraction. All right, people, let's get into this. So, Leo, we start with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you have been a bit discontent being single, okay? This is someone who is happily single, male or female, happily single. I'm financially stable, I can give myself a good life, things are good. In the reverse, this can either be someone who is fed up with being single, <laughs> okay? Looking for love, looking for someone who is going to be moving forward with them in partnership, romantically. Or the Nine of Pentacles in reverse can be you slightly worried about your money and you're doing something about it. Crossing that, Six of Pentacles, some of you are wondering whether or not someone has gone through the divorce process. Someone may be considering putting in the effort with you now, now I was going to call you Pisces, wow, um, Leo, if you have been a little bit um, unsure as to their intentions, they're ready to put in the work and effort. This is also you balancing out your money, again, Strong career focus here. But I have to say, with the Ace of Cups, I am feeling that this is leaning forwards towards love as opposed to business. But for some of you, this is definitely a strong indication that if you put in the effort or you have been working, and I'm hearing working like a dog, okay, money is coming in and you're going to see the rewards of your efforts. Beautiful. Now, in the past, Leo, Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone came in, charmed the pants off you. Some of you kept your pants on. <laughs> but this is someone who came in with a lot of chat, okay? A lot of romance, a lot of let's do this, I have feelings for you, right? Could have taken you out for dinner, for drinks, bought you flowers, that sort of thing. But they kind of headed off in a different direction, 
okay? For some of you, this is you feeling really unfulfilled on your career path and deciding to make a big change, going into business with yourself, okay? Running your own business, setting up your own thing, becoming an entrepreneur or deciding, I want more money coming in. I'm going to try and look for a job elsewhere, whatever this is for you. Let's stick to love for now so I don't confuse you, okay? But just say that you know if you're looking for career reading, money is looking really good and there could be an opportunity coming up that you're going to need to think very carefully about which could expand your business, okay? Improve your financial security. But not to take um, an impulsive decision for this particular time in August, okay? So back to love, after that kind of in and out romantic energy, someone who didn't really want to stay but charmed you, for some of you, you realised that you had to cut this person out. I'm almost, I'm actually getting a vision of someone who is concentrating on a document, writing something um, with a calculator next to them and there's a fly in their vision and the fly keeps buzzing in, buzzing out, buzzing in, buzzing out and you're swiping it away. <laughs> Leo, for some of you, you just felt that you were being irritated by someone who just wouldn't leave you alone, but didn't have good intentions. Okay. Um, and something that I'm just getting the word irritated, irritated you and you just have to keep swiping it away, swatting it away. You cut someone out and you felt it was definitely the right thing to do. Because I think at this point, you realise that you wanted to concentrate on other things in your life, your family, your kids, your work, your money. And you thought, no, this person doesn't have any good intentions. They're just irritating me. And actually, they've got nothing to offer me. So I'm just going to say, sorry, not having it anymore. Slice them out of your life. What we have now, Leo, and I keep wanting to call you Pisces. I'm so sorry. You could be having a can having you could be connected to a Pisces or you can have Pisces strongly in your chart rising moon or Venus okay in your thoughts page ones some of you are thinking about a child some of you are thinking about a little message of passion that came through what do I do with this is this serious is this genuine for some of you you have a really good bright idea and this is business whatever this is for you this is a new start this is something that fires you up this is something quite exciting this could be you brainstorming. Interesting. So Archangel Michael, what do we have please in the immediate future for my Leos? And I don't know why I'm hearing the end game, the end game. I've got that. I've got that Taylor Swift song ringing through my head. The end game. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, reputation. Big reputation. Interesting. You could have a reputation for what you do, Leo. You could be connected with someone who you know has got a bad reputation or had a bad reputation. And you may be deciding whether or not it's a good idea to move forward with this person. So, Michael, do we have timing for that five of cups in reverse, please? Beginning of September. He's saying to me the end of August, beginning of September. OK, thank you, Michael. Five of cups in reverse. There's something that is going to be filling you with quite a lot of excitement. There is something that is going to be filling you with hope. The word hope is coming through because in the upright, this is you looking at all that's lost. This could be a job that you weren't fulfilled with. This is you losing your job, right? If this is business for love, this could be you thinking, you know what? Every single relationship I've had just hasn't worked out. They've lied to me. They've deceived me. They've gone off with somebody else. OK, um, they just wanted something casual. They were way too old for me. They were way too young for me. And looking at these connections that just for you just didn't work. Now, and look, that's someone getting themselves grounded. Five of cups in reverse, suddenly realising that there are two cups behind you. This could be a brilliant business idea. 
that could me lead to a lot of fulfillment and happiness. You know what? Yes, that's what I'm, what I'm going to push forward to do now. For some of you, this is someone coming back around. And I'm feeling that strongly. It could well have been this Knight of Cups energy in the past. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, not necessarily. Someone very romantic, somebody very charming, somebody who knew how to use their words to great effect, but didn't take action, right? Didn't do maybe what they suggested that they would do. They're coming in for you, Leo. They're sat in the Ten of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, this is you understanding that whoever this person is, is coming back around. They could still be in that long term relationship if this is their party. OK, to be honest. But the Ten of Pentacles is also someone who has stabilised their own finances. Somebody who's done very well. Somebody who might have just sold a property. Somebody who's ready for commitment and has quite a lot to offer you. This is something that you are going to be feeling hopeful about. So, for instance, this could be a conversation with someone that you knew that's come back around. And I'm really strongly feeling that this is not someone brand new. This could be someone that you've been off and on texting, in contact with for the last few months. Not necessarily somebody who was an ex-partner. But this is an indication that they are grounded and stable and they may be either ready to leave a long term commitment. They've got to attend and you're feeling hopeful that that's going to happen so you two can move forward. Or this is someone who is potentially just out of a divorce, finalised a divorce, and they are now free to move forward with you, which is why you're feeling hopeful. For some of you, this is a big loan coming in so you can start your own business. What you're fearful of, for some of you, Seven of Pentacles, fearing ploughing money into a business and losing your savings. I don't know why I'm getting that. I am. For some of you, the Seven of Pentacles is long term commitment. For some of you, you're fearful this person is coming back to you that you cut out in the past and they are still in that long term commitment. Worried about that. What you're hoping for, Leo, is the energy of the Emperor. Now, if this is you, you can have Aries in your rising moon or Venus, okay? This is you hoping to take control of the situation. For some of you, this is you hoping to move into an entrepreneurial position and get that business going, get it flying, okay? Because you've got money coming in from a source that's going to help you. For some of you, you're hoping that if someone that you were connected with in the past comes back to you, you're hoping that they are going to be doing the right thing. This is someone who could be an Aries. This is someone who could just be taking control of their life and moving towards you, understanding that that energy in the past didn't really work. You swatted them away. No, not having it. Maybe they decided that they weren't happy. And they realised, having made changes or about to make changes, that they want to come back round to you. This is you asking a series of questions, Leo. You're going to be holding your head high. You're not going to be taking any rubbish from anyone. You're going to be standing your ground. And you're going to be wanting answers. If there's any elusive behaviour, any kind of flighty, well, you know, let's forget about the past. You're going to be saying, no, I don't want to forget about the past. I want to know why you said this, why you did that, why you ghosted me, why you lied to me. What's happening with the other person that you were connected with? You're going to be asking some questions. This person may know that. They may try to kind of move away from that type of conversation, but I think you're going to be standing your ground because you're not going to be making any hard or fast decisions, Leo, in the month of August. For some of you, you're going to be looking at this offer, feeling very hopeful, feeling that this could at last be something very balanced, something that you can move forward with working in partnership. But Leo, if, for instance, by any remote chance, you acted a little bit impulsively in the past. And, you know, Leo, I mean, I've got Leo Moon. We can be a little bit kind of, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. This is exciting. This is fun. Getting your fire up about something or someone. You have put that energy kind of on the back burner because this is you realising that this is quite a serious consideration. This is your life. You're not playing games anymore. 
And for some of you, you're no longer in your, say, early 20s. You want to make sure that if you move forward, you have really thought things through and not behaved in a slightly impulsive fashion. So this is your energy to end with, Leo. Now, for some of you, this is you disinterested in an offer given to you because you feel that someone is still in the same situation, not free. For some of you, you have or will be, thank you, Michael is correct to me, will be asking a series of questions. Now, I don't mind putting, I don't mean putting someone on the firing line, you know, sitting there as if this is an interview, being very um, cold and distant and difficult. What I mean is you're going to be saying to this person, OK, can you elaborate on that? Can you explain why that happened? I understand that it was difficult for you, but I just kind of need to know what's going on because, you know, if I'm going to be changing my life and moving forward with you, I just want to ensure that I know exactly what's going on. You know, I have the right to know the truth. OK, so this is you just very gently, but standing your ground for sure, asking those questions. And then saying to whoever this is, you know what, this is fantastic. I'm so pleased to see you. I'm so glad you've come back to me. I'm really interested in moving forward with you. I really want this to work. But can I have some time to think about it? Can we just take things super slowly? Can I? Can we just be friends for in the next couple of months? Right? Just so that I can get used to having you back in my life again and to see whether or not this is really going to work. Are we on the same page is coming through again. Does this person want what you want for the future, Leo? Very important. Very important. You could be in love and they can have all this chemistry, but right, if they want to live in a one bed flat with, you know, a dog and go traveling and you want a family with four kids in a country house, then you're on the different pages. This is you talking through what might potentially be working out in the future. Yeah. So we have with the King of Pentacles, you coming to reality about a situation or talking through issues with someone from the past. I'm definitely getting someone from the past, but this could be, as I said, someone that you don't really know yet. You've maybe in isolation, you've met someone online a few months ago, you haven't ended up actually meeting in person. That could be someone that you decide now to take things forward with. But with the Five of Pentacles, this is you closing that gap, closing that distance, there is potentially a new offer of love on the table. Um, and with coming out of confusion and someone opening up, there could be someone here definitely deciding to come back around to you or making a very serious decision, having left behind a situation in the past that was no longer fulfilling. So this could be your dream person you having your wish come true remember the card that in meditation that came through the wheel of fortune this is you realizing that this was all about divine timing you've learned lessons to put up your boundaries to be stronger they've learned lessons potentially moving out of any shadow energy and now is the right time for you two to come together okay very exciting energy for those in your career, you are going to be thinking about accepting some kind of offer. It could be an offer of working in partnership with someone. For some of you, you are definitely deciding that you want to, to move into a place of fulfillment and be getting through a lump sum of money or using some savings to kickstart an entrepreneurial business, whether it's online, whether it's you doing something completely different with your life paying to do an online course, paying to become a yoga teacher, Pilates instructor, right? Learning how to counsel other people, learning how to be a tarot reader. You're going to be doing it and you're going to be moving away from something that was really unfulfilling and moving forward, thinking things through very carefully, step by step. So maybe by September time, you'll be ready to move forward and um, start really bringing in some stability for yourself, maybe on top of helping other people. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. 
I'm going to leave it there. I think that was a really good reading. I'm not going to clarify because I don't want to make this too specific. For some of you, this is career. For others of you, this is romance. This is love. Whatever this is, this is a very successful reading. It's a very strong reading. Your finances look great. I think you could have someone coming forward to you that might have ended a, a long term connection in the past and is realising that they really do want to be with you. But they also know that they have to bring forward an offer that is stable with some kind of stability for you to even consider it. And this is what you'll be doing, Leo, OK, for the month of August, thinking about an offer. Before running with it, taking it super slowly, remember grounding energy keep your feet on the ground okay guys take care of you sending love and light your way if you feel this is your story do reach out it's deborahclair.com details below i'm on instagram too so if you are on instagram it would be great if you would join me and i shall see you very soon for your next tgif love reading see you then bye now